Once upon a time, long, long ago, in the realm of magic, in an age of swords nice. and sorcery. Just, just trust me, it was a while ago, alright? <coughs> so, uh, what are those glass circle things in front of your eyes called? They're called glasses. I mean, glasses have been around since 1000 BC or whatever. They make your eyes work better. Thanks. Dwarves make them. Sweet. And, uh, what about, ah. Oh, <laughs> braces. Should have had them off 400 years ago. So, um, why are you traveling alone? Usually when an elf travels, they do so alone. Don't you get lonely all on your own? There is a piece that can be found in solitude. Wow, elves are so sophisticated and wise. Often, a stoic veneer is all that is shown. But that is not always the same as enlightened. What do you mean? bothers me barely barely Kathy for 500 long winters I have heard thy wailing I know a veritable advocate of the things that bother me and you know I give zero fucks has time to become cultured when one is undying. However, I often wonder if immortality does not stifle one's maturity. Uh, that's a fine idea, my feathered friend. I'm just not sure I have the coin to invest right now. Delron! Delron! Delron, if thou dost not answer, we shall no longer be kindred. Delron! Delron! Tis my name. Dost thou intend to grind it to naught? In thine own opinion, one might think the sun shine out thy posterior. Thy posterior is indistinguishable from thy visage. Thy mother is as enormous as a swine after a fortnight. I am the very essence of the rubber plant, and you are but boiled horse hooves. Seriously, what? I think what he's saying is- Therefore, your words ricochet off me and adhere to you. Thou dost babble more than this brook. Tis true of thee, but what of me? If thy desire is to present thyself as an hourly promise breaker, thou hast succeeded. Tis true of thee, yet what of me? Thou hast not much brains as pointy earwax. Tis true of thee, yet, yet what, what of me? Tis true of thee, yet, yet what of me? Tis true of thee, yet what of me? Tis true of thee, yet what of me? My name is Alaric, and I'm, I'm a star. And I've decided I don't need your help. 
Alaric! Wherefore dost thou not weave a tapestry? Then you could regard it in thine own time. When an elf decides they want space, they want space. Oh, did you want me to, to go? Oh, no, no, I'm, I am only half elf. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I can't be myself. You get that, right? I do. You should know, I'm not really an archer. I am a silver scroll, a poet. My family are poets. I'm a good shot, but shooting people. No, hey, my... I'm a, it's okay. I'm a royal bean counter. <laughs> uh, I'm an accountant. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my whole family are accountants. Yeah, we count into the hundreds. It's actually pretty unique where I come from. Hmm. Yeah. And that is why they chose you to be the leader. No, no, I'm not the leader. I just stole the treasure of the Forgotten King from the evil sorcerer's lair. My maps! Where, where are my maps? I swear to God I had them right here. Ah, oh, you swear to who? No. Oh, shut up. Oh, Planned and assembled the crew. You know what? I'm in. But you should know, I I have my own musical accompaniment. And a halfling. So, my contribution was mostly in the beginning. You seem like a wise leader. Hmm. <sighs> you know what's weird? No, what? everything. Questers must show intelligence, dexterity, strength, wisdom, skill, charisma. your degree in accountancy or business management. So, this is the crew. This is Gore the Barbarian. He does barbarian stuff. I also cook. <laughs> this is Bundo Greenfinger. One of the greatest lockpicks in all the realm. That's correct. And that's the title I'd like to be referred to from now on. Thank you very much. Hello. <sighs> this is Magnar. My name's Magnar Wolfsbane. Wolfson. Wolfson. I'm jackass of all trades. And master of fun! <sighs> that's... That's accurate. We like to joke around here, but we take some all time. Can you stop manhandling me? Our wizard is a spoon! You've got my butt pointed at them. Sorry. 
<clears throat> I am a human man wizard that was cursed to be this way. And to me, there is a difference. Oh. And, uh, and this, this is Honeywin. I'm Honeywin, background music. Like ambiance. Things go on magic guitar. Do the thing. Make her sing. It's a beautiful music they make together. You keep switching between accents. Which is your correct one? Well, my memory was magically erased when I was a child. So I don't really know what the real accent is. I like to try on new ones, like how one might try on a hat. This one, which you were using naturally, is your correct accent. Please refrain from using others for your own amusement. They're gonna ruin this. Well, that's a right kick in the pants. Yes, do not do that. She's laughing, smiling. Don't worry so much. I just need someone I can talk to around here. Uh huh. Talk to. You. Yes, Spoon, a person I can talk to. Snicker snack. I'm Excalibur. Yeah, but you can't be like, now I'm wearing this hat. And then be like, oh, now I'm wearing this hat. And then be like, now I'm wearing this hat. Yes. That is too many hats. It is very, hey, look at me. Hey, I like you. What's your name? I am from the Silver Scroll clan. My name is Kathy. Kathy Silver Scroll. Kathy? It's a weird name for an elf. I am only half elf. I was raised by humans. Therefore, I was branded with the human name so that I may never forget it. Cool. Well, I like both your halves. Oh, hey, here, have a seat. Well, if you insist. Called it. My name's Honeywind. Actually, the name's. Um, what sort of name is Honeywind? <laughs> Rude. Ooh, that's an awkward story. Yeah, exactly. So maybe you can shoot it. But it's one heck of a song. <laughs> oh, work party. Pixie 
Magical wish granting pixies? I'll grant you three wishes. But remember, these are permanent. That's a lot of pressure. Don't stress them out. I don't know what to choose. You heard the song. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I wish that didn't stink so bad. Granted, your fart shall now forever smell sweet. Oh, can I do that wish again? <laughs> Doubly granted. Your farts shall not be honeyland! Oh, that smells so good, I think I'm gonna be sick. Now remember, this is your last wish. Make it important. Magic guitar. Whoa! Well, that was a bubbly tail. <laughs> Why, we have hundreds of tails. That's what Bundo, Honeywind, and I do. We sell our tails for coin. You're going to want to phrase that differently. I don't see how you can possibly ever top magical pixie farts. <laughs> well, I almost rode a centaur once. <laughs> no, you didn't. Well, I, I didn't, but could have. No. That's the point. No, it's forbidden by magical law to ride a centaur. Well, that's what I tried telling him. I don't know, man. I always heard it was forbidden by <laughs> magic law to ride a centaur. <laughs> I don't know who started that rumor. We love it. That'd be weird, man. No, man. it's not weird. Just hop up there. You don't even have a saddle. I don't want to ride you. Bareback. Oh. You're not making any less weird calling it bareback. Plus, me carrying around a saddle all day. Now that would be weird. I get your point, but I still think... It'd be weird. You're overthinking this. Just imagine a buddy was injured and you offered him a piggyback ride. Yeah, exactly. We just walked slower so he could keep up. Are you crazy? You're a terrible friend. Just imagine you and your buddy are jogging then. Oh, yeah. While hugging? Yeah. Uh, no, no, thanks. Thank you. No, uh, it's not sexual. It's Ooh. erotic, sure, but that's different. Yeah, you made it definite. I'm going to walk. So, you could have ridden a centaur, but fear of intimacy forced you to walk? That is... correct. <laughs> Amusing. Why are you dressed like a halfling? I'm a halfling. This is how we dress. I thought halflings did not wear shoes. Why is it every time people want to talk about half they should talk about why we're barefoot? Oh, or where can I get some of that shire weed? I love that. Why are halflings barefoot in stories then? Those stories are from the 70s. Come on. It's the year 103 now. Let's stop acting like those rumors aren't 30 years ago. So what are these shoeless rumors? Well, in Halfling Town, there's really no sense putting on shoes because you're going to be taking off your pants every 20 minutes. Really? <laughs> oh yeah, Halfling's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
You sound like you speak from experience. Well, yeah. Undo's a halfling. No, he is not. Well, that's gonna be a surprise to Papa. <laughs> you are extraordinarily large for a halfling. I'm Bundo, the world's biggest halfling. Biggest one I've met, anyway. Are you implying that what halflings lack in height, they make up for in their manhood? Well, I'm not saying <laughs> that. <laughs> you are not familiar with the rumors that. Okay, whoa. Not cool. No, no, he's right. It's like a mushroom growing on top of a moldy peach. That is an unfortunate visual. <laughs> that is the rumor about dwarves. At least that's what all their songs are about anyway. No way. Have you heard anything by Steelhammer? I hammer deep in the tunnel. Deep, deep, deep. I thought they sounded too excited about finding. I have a deep in the tunnel, deep, deep, deep. Oh yeah, I can hear it now. Halflings, you know, we like to stay at home, you know, under the mound, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Fantasy fans really miss the concept of second breakfast. I get what you are talking about. Don't let them explain, Elevensies. It's only it's only weird if you think about it like an everyday thing. You can't do 11Zs every day. I mean, especially before lunch. Oh, I, I would prefer not to know. Hey, guys. Can I talk to you for a minute? Come here. Why is your hair blue? Oh, elf stuff. Why are they talking away from us? That Magnar guy, he's so clever, sometimes he forgets he's actually a dumbass. So you have to take him aside and explain things to him in a tiny little word. Your contempt for him is quite palpable. You know, it's not his fault. Uh, what? One time I let someone use my rage against me in battle, and I swore I would never let myself do that again. That guy, makes me want to kick puppies. <gasps> Figure speech, I love puppies. Yes, I too love the puppies. Now, I'm a rageaholic. It's been 183 days since I last went berserk, but you know how old people can feel a storm coming in their knees? It's that way with my anger. I can feel it and it's gonna flip out probably any day now. Yeah, of course we know what that means. That means you're from the island of Lesbos, right? No, I'm not from there actually. Well, really hope to visit one day. Um, a lesbian is different, you know? Um, how can I explain this in a way that is simple enough for you to understand? Um, okay. Okay, okay. You know how you have a penis. <sighs> yeah. And how? Yeah, I don't like that. It can't be that simple, can it? No, it's not. But they are. My name's Honeywin. Sorry, I still don't follow. Okay. Um, what do what do you think of other people's penises? Uh, we try not to. Me neither. You know, frankly, I think they're kind of gross. Yeah, but that's just a fact. <laughs> Wait a minute. How come there aren't more lesbians? Well, actually, you know, there's a lot more than than you than you know. You just have to ask them that question. You know, without all the. <laughs> I get it. You want a wingman. <sighs> okay. I could take it from here. Oh, there you are. Oh my god. Your your braces. They're gone. 
Yes. Um, and my hair is green. <laughs> it's weird that you would notice my mouth first. No, it's not. No, it's not weird. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, your hair, it, it's green. Why, what the heck happened with that? Well, my magic can be a little unpredictable when I get nervous. Nervous, huh? What are you nervous about? Well, you did just have a secret meeting without me. <laughs> that back there? That was just Magnar management. It's, uh, basically what I do every day now. Yes, Gore did tell me about that. Who is watching Magnar now? Oh, um, I told him to go, go talk to the spoon. I thought I would keep him busy for a minute. <laughs> hey there, buddy. They forget about you. What? 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 So what's it like being a magic spoon? That's gotta be fun, huh? Are you kidding? My life's a nightmare. Oh. I'm a sentient spoon. The horrors. Really? Can't be that bad. You cannot imagine. Oh yeah? Try me. Okay. But remember. You asked. What? Where am I? Where am I? What's going on? Oh my god, I'm a spoon. I'm a spoon. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Take me back. Take me back. <sighs> that was horrible, man. How did you do that? It's all part of the curse. I can only do magic no one wants, like... Forcing you to live my trauma. Oh, wild. Huh. Maybe you could use your magic to help me come to terms with an uncomfortable truth. Oh, man, I don't know. You see, I wonder, what could I possibly have done to make Gore dislike me so? Oh, that? That's easy. It was right after he discovered the name of your sword. Huh. You mean... The Waster Blade? Ha <laughs> ha! The Waster Blade! You don't say. No, before that. Ha <laughs> ha! Presenting the Waster Blade! Yeah, you mentioned that. Uh, earlier still. The Waster Blade? Did you really name your sword the Waster Blade? For it shall lay waste to my enemy. Yeah. Waster blade is just another word for practice sword, you idiot. How appropriate is it that you should wield a dull blade? I know it means dull blade. It's just my sense of humor. Besides, I find the threat of a blade is all I ever need. Giving your enemy the knowledge that you're carrying a dulled blade reduces the threat, don't you think? Uh, honestly, I didn't think anybody would get it. Sure, how likely is it that a swordsman is going to understand sword-based terminology? Uh, admittedly, not the wisest of jokes. It's aggressively stupid for your own amusement. It's insulting, frankly. Did you know statistically you're more likely to kill yourself from a self-inflicted stabbing while cleaning your sword than you would to save your family from a swordsman? <laughs> what I choose to smash, smash is my choice. What I choose to smash, smash You know who doesn't want you to know that fact? Big Sword. Big Sword is a bastard. <laughs> Do you even know what statistically means? Well, not really, but statistically it hasn't mattered. Oh, man. Gore's family really was killed by an evil swordsman, weren't they? Yes. You're just now getting that? Aw, oh, jeez. Why'd you make me remember that? 
I'm an asshole. Yeah, well, first step is acknowledging the problem. You're welcome. You come from a place called Simple Town? No, it's only spelt like Simple Town. It's pronounced Simple Tun. So we are searching for the treasure of the Forgotten King. True. Of Simpleton. Yeah. The King of Simpleton. Yeah. It is Magnar. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why he's been involved. It all makes sense now. Yeah. And he doesn't even know that either of those things are happening. <laughs> You are a wise leader. Sure you want to join the team? Oh, yes. <laughs> and I'd like to help you find the treasure, too. Okay. Okay. Nice! That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Yes! Yes! Okay. Um, sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, no. It is good. Rock on. Gore, my good fella. Got a whetstone that I could borrow? I've been thinking maybe it's time I put an edge on the old waster blade. Aren't you afraid you'll cut yourself? Really, what I'm worried about is, you know, something will happen and I won't be able to help protect us. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Here. Hey, thanks, man. So, how's this work, guys? Get the stone all wet and then rub my sword up on it? Yeah, I wish you wouldn't make things so awkward here. Matt, never done this before. It's your first time. I'll do it for you. <laughs> Please, be gentle. <sighs> You're a good man, Gore. You're a good man. We should do a dragon. <laughs>